What's up YouTube? Welcome to the new channel, Rocky AV, going over a 2019 Chevy Colorado uh, ZR2 Bison. Uh, we've had it for about three days now, uh, maybe four days, and it's been pouring down rain the whole dang time so far since we got it. Uh, so we haven't had a chance to really do anything. We just went out and took some pictures and did a little video and a couple other things with it they're going to put together so that we can post up for everybody to see and uh, the whole purpose of this channel is we're going to talk about this truck we're going to show uh, the things about it what we learned what we like what we don't like uh, but here's the twist we're going to do some upgrades and she's going to do the upgrades so uh, with that being said, we're going to kind of go over some things as we're driving, what we've already noticed that we like and we don't like, the pros and cons of everything, and uh, we'll just go from there. All right, here we go. All right, so first up, we're going to get a perspective from the driver. Tell us what you think. <laughs> um, so I'm absolutely 100% in love with this already. Um, even before it came in, I was in love with it. Um, I'm coming from... A 2013 Dodge Avenger so it's gonna be a huge difference regardless and don't get me wrong the Dodge Avenger was I still to this day love that car it did what I needed it to um, but I'm going from a four-cylinder in that car to the mini Duramax in this truck which automatically suggests a lot more power and it does I, I love the ability. There were a few things whenever we started looking for a new vehicle and he, Eric asked me what I had to have and I told him the very first thing I said was I need more power. Um, I hate trying to get on the interstate or just, you know, try to get into traffic pretty quick and you're kind of puttering along. This guy gets the job done. Um, the other thing well, the other couple of things that I decided that I really had to have were I needed more visibility on the road. The little car, I sat really low. Um, it was unassuming, so people just cut me off, pushed me off, off the side of the road, those kind of things. I wanted something that said, hey, I'm here. And this sucker, it catches eyeballs and attention. So that definitely got that job done. <laughs> um, aside from that, I... I'm not bougie by any stretch of the imagination, but I told him, I said, I gotta have heated seats <laughs> and I gotta have um, heated steering wheel because my hands freeze regardless. And then um, the weather doesn't get crazy cold, but on those cold days, I like to have the, the luxury of the heat. Um, this guy had a lot more requirements than I did. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> shove you right back over to this fella. Alright, so we're going to take a little break and uh, then I'll come back with some more information. Alright, I'm trying to keep the clip short because it makes it easier for me to uh, edit everything together. Um, going off with uh, what Brandy said on the, the driving and everything. So yeah, she did. She gave me some requirements. She said, I want to be able to be seen and see more uh, as compared to the car, which this absolutely does it. It's not a full-size truck, so you're not going to have the full-size problems like, uh, well, parking anywhere and uh, then you still get to be able to see everything like, like she wanted to. Um, talking about the motor, so there's pros and cons about the motor, I'll tell you that right now. So the V6, uh, it, the gas motor, is a lot more peppy. It's got a lot more acceleration, it's got a lot more uh, like sporty feel to it. Uh, the Duramax has more torque, which is what I prefer because I wanna be able to pull our boat, which we'll get into that in a later video. And uh, I've also got a dump bed trailer. I know I can't pull the trailer loaded, but I'm gonna pull it empty just to see how it does and test out the trailer brakes and uh, the exhaust brake on the truck because it comes uh, stock or, uh, factory with that, with the, the Duramax motor. So there's a lot of good things to it. There's also a lot of bad things. It depends on what you want. If you're looking for a sporty vehicle to get out there and run, you know, keep up with the, the Ford Raptor and everything, you're gonna wanna go with the V6 version because it is more sporty. However, the Ford Raptor is still gonna outrun it uh, a little bit. Uh, but you'll see in a lot of videos, if you do a little search, that uh, the ZR2 is actually holding its own off-road. It just may not be as fast. It's very <laughs> capable, but not as fast. So, Later not on, as fast or not as fast off the jump? It's not as fast overall because the Raptor has a V8 and then the Colorado has the V6. So it's just a bigger motor and you're going to get more power out of it. It just is, it is what it is. But depending on what your likes are, what your, your needs are in the truck, uh, what you want in the truck, this could be yours. 
It could not be for you. It all depends. And we'll go over that coming up. <laughs> so as far as interior, um, inside cab space, I'm 5'4". So I have absolutely no problem with leg space, with head space, with girth space or any of that. So I absolutely love the size of the, of the inside cab of this truck. We've got um, a son that is about 6'1". I've got a daughter that's probably about 4'9". So he might have a little bit of a different perspective on it than I do, but this truck fits like a glove for me. And going off of that, um, like, like she just said, uh, if, if you're six foot and above, if you're riding up front, there's plenty of leg space. You're very comfortable. I, I'm 6'1", 240 pounds, and as long as I get the front seat, I am completely satisfied. The back seat, however, is a little different depending on who's in the front seat. So what I mean by that is... All right, that was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> going over some other things uh, we'll, we'll talk about real quick the one of the things that I noticed straight off of the the jump was how smooth this thing rides oh it goes over train tracks like butter so <laughs> we, hit, we hit some train tracks that in my truck and I drive a three-quarter ton diesel uh, Dodge that joker it will beat you <laughs> out of the seat your kidneys are hanging out on the side of the road like dude what was you thinking so that one's rough and then in the car it didn't necessarily uh, uh knock your kidneys out of the, out of place no but, uh, but if i was in the driver's seat after the railroad tracks i was in the passenger back <laughs> so there's definitely a difference the shocks on this we'll go over that at a later time but the shocks on this thing absorb basically everything i don't even realize I don't know if I'm going over pebbles or if I'm going over potholes. It's pretty darn amazing. I can't get I can't wait to get it out to Hidden Falls and get it on some rocks. Absolutely. So going going over the ride and everything, uh, we've noticed immediately the the difference in the ride. Uh, well, not necessarily the difference because we didn't have uh, another one to kind of compare it to to start off with. We did test drive a, a Z71 and a, uh, another ZR2, and the ZR2s do handle a little different. And the reason why that is because they have a wider stance than the regular Z71s and uh, the work trucks and everything. So immediately, immediately what I noticed was the, the smoothness of the ride. Um, the second thing that I noticed was the handling. So the handling is very good. Uh, going around corners, uh, we haven't taken anything fast or crazy, uh, anything like that, but your typical handling uh, has been spot on, especially for uh, a truck that's lifted, and it comes lifted from the factory. Uh, and they've done a lot of testing and everything to get it the way that they want it. So I'm holding the camera out facing the road, and I'm holding it with just my hand, and I know I have image stabilization on the camera, so it's gonna clean up some of it, but you should be able to see some of the bumps that we're hitting and once again in my truck uh, I couldn't hold this thing still like this it'd be bouncing all over the place and this thing here it's like butter so thumbs up on the ride and the quality of that for sure so you can tell it's a truck but basically it's like riding in a Cadillac it's it's legit definitely definitely happy with this truck this is going to be the end of this uh, first video, or actually it's the second video. The other one was kind of like a teaser. We just, the truck came in at like 6 or 7 o'clock at night, and the dealership was closing, so they said, there's no way you're getting it today, but we'll have it ready for you tomorrow. That's where the pictures came from. They had just downloaded it off of the truck, uh, went up there, took some pictures, couldn't stand it. Uh, we actually kind of went on a little uh, sneak uh, ride around the block. <laughs> Literally, we drove like, I think, two miles, three miles, just because somebody couldn't stand it <laughs> but um so we're like i said we're gonna try and keep this channel pretty informal we're trying to just hey we're normal people like everybody else but we're well, super I'm normal okay she's normal i'm yeah well i'm i'm normal for me whatever normal is <clears throat> anyways <laughs> so we're gonna try and just take you guys along the ride we're gonna tell y'all what we like what we don't like and we're gonna give you honest opinions about the truck and so far even though there's a few tiny things that I dislike, we are extremely pleased with everything overall. And uh, we're just looking forward to, to spending some time with you guys and showing you all the ropes and finding out 
things that, that we didn't know that this truck could do because we're not from a Chevy family. We've had Dodges for years and years and years. And there's nothing wrong with Dodge. But this thing just really caught our attention and we decided that we had to have it. So if y'all have any questions, if y'all have any comments, anything that y'all would like to see, anything that y'all want us to uh, attempt within reason, then we'll give it a shot and we're going to do some upgrades that are coming up in the next few weeks and we're going to try and release a video uh, every couple of weeks unless we come up with something that we can just run out and get a video on and do and share with you guys but we have a lot of good ideas for the channel we've got a lot of uh, things that we want to do uh, if life permits we're going to take you guys along for the ride and share our experiences with you and give you an honest review on everything that we do and the things that we put in on around everything with this vehicle but i'm gonna make her do the work that's cool so comment below if you've got something for us hit the like button and we'll see you next time